In this video, I'm just going to teach you how you can make carousel in Figma. I'm just going to show you two ways that you can follow and make a carousel. Uh, number one will be the automatic and number second, it will be the button types. So this is mainly the automatic as you can see and when I just click on here this button, I get to see here, yeah, it's working really fine, right? And here is the different one as you can see, when I click on here this button, I get to see like this and when I click on here this arrow and it's also work. Uh, it's gonna be something like this as you can see um, when someone click on here the arrow it just come a different product uh, when I click on again here it just come in as something other so it's gonna be something like similar you can say to do that first of all as you can see I already add everything that is necessary I already designed everything all the you know these uh, frames and here are the three so what it's I have to do I have to just select so one two three I just selected three and just go to here and click on creates component set and this will be an accompaniment so this mainly name is BD click slider let's go to this asset and uh, let me put it something like one and uh, let's go to here one is BDN and I get to see here this one this slider and uh, let me just put here I mean drag and drop and make it center and this slider will become in center and now I'm just going to play it but we only create the component we didn't do any kind of prototype so we had to start it so let's go to here this prototype and just drag and drop here this one and this will be this after delay and I want to put here one five I mean 1500 millisecond and this will be the smart animation 300 so if you want to increase something like 500 then you can do it and here is the second one and just make it the same it's gonna be Dafta wool and this is gonna be the same okay so first of all when it's come then it will be here and second time it will be gonna be this one and third time this one but when it's finished then this will be auto again come back again here I mean this will be come back to this one and this is gonna be again the after delay and this will be the same but one thing if you notice here, everything looks like default, default, default. So if you really want, then you can change the name into one or something different that related. That's going to be easier to identify which one you're right now doing work. So it's going to be easier. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, so now as you can see, this is going to be the preview. Um, and it's really work fine. Yeah, it's really work fine. But if you're trying to see the buttons, the buttons not really work. So we had to work with the buttons. So to do that, let's go to here this and just double click on. And as you can see, also make sure that you selected in a specific group, okay? And now go to prototype and just drag and drop here. I mean, when someone click on this arrow, they will be uh, redirect into this number two. And when someone come into here, a left arrow, they will be come here. And this will be the same. And this will be the same, I think. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. Yep, right. Let's go back. Let's click on the button. Yep, it's really work fine. Yes, it's really work fine. Okay, that's great. So let's go to the next one. It's mainly for this one, as you can see here. Okay, let me delay it all. And uh, let me just make it a normal that it's gonna be uh, easier to under just tell you that what you mainly would just do here. So okay this is mainly the normal one so yep okay so now okay so mainly it's in the clip content so let me just check here this button also we have to just make it different something and also inside of the product inside of the carousel we have six products so just take all and just go outside and delay the product carousel Oops, product carousel. Okay, so okay, okay. One thing we can do, that is we can just take it outside of this frame. Yes, right now it's outside. Okay, so as you can see, this is mainly all the products that we have right now. Two, three, four, five, all. So what I'm going to do, all the things, I'm just gonna set up all, and just click mouse right button, and go to here, this frame selection then put a name like all products I'm just gonna put it and right now I'm just going to just drag and drop here 
and just make a line and also I just use your ruler so if you don't know how to enable this ruler then just click on here this and go to here this view and just turn on this ruler and after this you can just make this type of line all right so in here we have to just make it mask uh, I mean a uh, click content not mask. sorry so since we already make a frame so just hold on command and then just do this okay so now you might have a question that okay if I not hold or this command button then what happened um, if I just do right now I'm not holding command so I get to see something like this see it's something like a stress so uh, I don't want like this so that's why I was hold command or control and just make it like this if you're using Mac then use comment or if you're using Windows then control okay all right so now just click on again here and just make it clip content then you will get to see something like this and right now we have to work with the button so I'm just going to hold on alter and just copy here this one okay and now just make it center and also we have another one so just drag and drop here this one and this would be the changes I mean this would be something different so double click and just rotate it something like this okay and uh, now just copy paste here this one this is mainly the arrow so everything's ready right now so okay so if you don't know how to make this arrow it's very simple just go to here uh, this arrow I mean this um, it's called this ellipse and take a pen tool and make this type of arrow it's very simple uh, it's not something hard so you can easily make it so I'm going to delete it so anyway so delete okay so I'm going to delete it okay anyway so let's select everything again and just make them as a frame so go to here and frame selection and now we get a frame right um, I'm just going to copy it here this is mainly the number one and I'm just going to duplicate it something different and in here uh, we just want to make something you know let me go here and select all the product and just um, okay. and just slide it a little bit because in the first slider we are showing number two product right we are showing two so in here we are going to show two so something like be this okay so now it's a frame 10 and just drag and drop here this next one and it should be something like different okay let's select all and just again just slide it okay all right so in here make sure that you're when you're just going to create a frame you are just doing it from this frame section shift command G if you press shift a out of frame or out, sorry out of layout then it's not gonna be work I think you will get a little bit of trouble in there when just gonna create it so make sure that you follow this my step all right so now we're to change here this lights so this is gonna be the first one so the first one would be uh, the field color will be zero and the stroke color will be two and this is gonna be the color and this is the last one so go to the last and just go to outside field color will be this okay and this is the middle one so let me go here and this is the middle one and this is gonna be outside field color will be this and the 17 this one I think 17 one will be zero and stroke will be two and this will be the color all right so and here is the first one it's okay and if you really don't want this button so you can remove it or if you want then you can you can cap it in my case I don't really want so I'm just remove it and just shift then again shift then uh, select all then just go to here create component set everything's okay let's go to the prototype and just click on here this button I mean when you just going to click the button make sure that you are just selecting the group not like this uh, you know this um, uh, vector okay so I just select it and I just in here so when does someone click on then it will finally come and uh, when this gonna be the same so when someone click on it's gonna be same and when someone click on it's gonna be the back and this gonna be the same okay 
Okay, it's gonna be the same. Okay, so this is gonna be this one. Okay, all right, so it's ready right now. And we have to work with this, this thing, so here. Ellipse, okay, it's not. So 71 will be um, this one. And 72 will be this, but we have to change it to frame nine, no, frame 11. And we have to go here, this, I mean, we have to do the same. The first one will be go this first and the other one, this middle one, we don't need to work with that and the last one will be here. Alright, so in, in the last time we have to go here and 70 it's gonna be the first one, I mean the 9 and 71 will be the second one. So it would be frame 10. So right now it's okay. So we had to go this asset and we have to just search it. So it's gonna be the 13. So let's type 13. Uh, and drag and drop here, this one. Make it center. And right now, if you're just going to see here that these buttons really work fine. And if you just click on here, this arrow, it's arrow is also really work fine. So. I hope you understand and you get a clear idea like how we can create carousel in Figma. If you have any query and question then please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.